Hello, this is Kay with the uh, OU Hudson College of Public Health, Department of Occupational and Environmental Health, and I am going to discuss the biosampler impinger today. So this is a biosampler impinger. It is a three-piece uh, impinger, and it is designed to collect uh, aerosol particles using centripetal motion and directing that uh, aerosol tangentially across the surface of a collection media Air, uh, particles under a certain cut size would be entrapped in the media and particles that are over that cut size are collected along the vessel walls. So the inlet or the top portion of the biosampler is designed to mimic the human trachea. It then sets into the body of the sampler The airflow through the inlet is directed down and out these three critical orifices, and these critical orifices bound the flow rate at 12 and a half liters per minute. And the shape of these or orifices, the way, the angle uh, that they are at determines the flow of the aerosol through the device. It is set, notice that there is a, an exit right there and that exit allows the air to escape by being pulled through the outlet here and this is set inside of a collection vessel the collection vessel contains a uh, quantity of media this collection vessel holds 20 mils and currently what's in here is deionized water however we change the collection media depending on the organism of interest and the um, sampling time that we're going to use. So this could be DMIM, it could be phosphate buffered saline, it could be ringer solution, it could be glycerol, it could be mineral oil. Depending on what we need is what we use in the collection vessel. Now, because of the fact that this is bounded at 12 and a half liters per minute, the gas can be set at 30 liters per minute. However, the sampler is still only going to be uh, operating with a flow rate of around 12 and a half liters per minute. Now, because of the fact that some particles could be re aerosolized, because this is fairly turbulent, not, although not as turbulent as its predecessors, um, it is necessary to put a, an inline filter to capture those particles and prevent contamination of the pump. So, what we do is we attach a piece of Tigon tube to the biosampler and we use a clamp to keep it in place. And then we attach the Tigon tube to the inlet of an inline filter that is assembled exactly as the filter cassettes that I discussed previously. And it looks like this. And this is our sample train. Now at this point in time, I'm going to turn, go ahead and turn the pump on so it may get a little loud, but this way you can see the action of the aerosol collection or of the of aerosol collection through the sampler. And that's it for the biosampler.